Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. We have a Collins 30L1 here. This thing required a lot of work. So I'll go over it. Everything I did. Needed new tubes. They were all flat. One had a grid to filament short. So at the customer order, new Pentalabs tubes to match quad. They're good to go. I had to change the caps over here. The interlock's broken, and in order to change that, I, I'd have to take the transformer out. And uh, a lot of work, plus I don't want to risk damaging the old wiring. So I'll make sure he's aware of that. So change the two disc caps. One of them was damaged. Someone already changed the filter caps. They test good. Filter has an aftermarket board in here. Change the series glitch resistor. The carbon ones had failed. I put a 10 ohm, 10 watt in. And they're really good. Uh, the coil here had a loose connection, was heating up. So I cleaned it really well and resecured it with a 632 screw and a cap nut. The old parasitic suppressors were shot. Here's one of them. And the other one's around here somewhere. But looks uh looks similar to that, but different type. I had to replace the straps. Someone had soldered them together and they were very frayed. I ended up stripping some coax to get some material. Shield, same diameter. The uh where they clamp over at the end of these connections, the anode connections, they snapped each one when I pulled them apart. So I recrimped them really good, soldered real nice. The lead lengths are nice and short now before they were super long. Okay, I'll go ahead and flip it upside down and show you the back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I changed the grid loading resistors, all four of them, with two watt Allen Bradley carbon comp. They're all within tolerance. Changed the 0.01 caps across each filament of each tube. I changed the mica cap between the grid and ground. Kept the lead lengths all nice and short. You have to take this off to get the cap and the resistor connection on this socket. I had to replace the resistor over here. See that resistor? It had two resistors in series and they were way out of tolerance. I replaced the SO239 connector a very sloppy connection. The center conductor that connected to it, uh, someone had gotten it too hot and the the uh, braided material for the center conductor was exposed and it was touching or almost touching ground over here. So I cut that, restripped it, and everything's done really good now. It's nice, nice. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxic gold, clean the output rotary switch, clean the TR relay contacts, check the value of the 2K resistor, unsoldered one end, and it is good. Touched up on some other solder joints. Check the choke here, oil the fan. So you can see everything down here. Has a newer cap, so I'm going to leave that alone. Has 6 amp fuses, calls for 8 amp. I'm going to put some 8 amp fast blows in. And uh, this thing's pretty much set. Someone already had changed these RCA jacks and made sure they're tight. So, oh, also changed the meter lamp bulb, which is kind of a pain. You have to loosen the screw to get it all out, put a new bulb in, and uh, tighten this up. Took the nut off, the feed through, it was loose. The, the uh, terminal here on the other side and this side were. You know, loose, you could go like that back and forth. So, took it off, tighten the nut that's in back of it real good. And, uh, also compressed all of the clips. These tubes are like, the old tubes are like sloppy in the sockets. So, I compressed them carefully with right angle, needle nose pliers ever so carefully, and cleaned the sockets. Actually, one of them had a screwed up clip, and I had to take it out and replace the clip. So now they all have a nice tight connection. You just don't want the grid to open up on one. So just good idea to do all this. An old amp, great amplifier, awesome amplifier, but you know this stuff is really needed. So, so now it's all set. Thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119.
Take care.